What's up guys, welcome back to Software Audit Solutions, and today we're talking about Escape from Tarkov and its latest update, which is 0.13.5. Now I'm going to show you the best settings you can use right now for this game, competitive settings to make your game run even better than what it's already running. I know a lot of people are losing FPS and just in general having a shit gameplay experience. So I'm going to show you the best settings you can use right now. So all you're going to need to do is follow my guidelines from the beginning of the video to the end. I'm not going to make it long, don't worry. I'll make it short, sweet and simple and get to the points. That is very, very important to do and to know. All right, let's jump straight into this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first thing I highly recommend you go ahead and do is open up battle state games like this. And then do, what you're going to need to do is come over here and then go to settings and you're going to come here. Then where it says when I close the launcher window, you say exit the launcher. And then when I launch the game, you say exit the launcher completely as well. So this launcher does not run in the background using resources like your RAM or your CPU. You don't want to do that. This game is very demanding on RAM, especially on RAM. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can turn off inside Windows to make your game run much, much better. A lot of people are complaining just in general when they open up like a Google tab or or let's say Discord's running or whatever the case might be, it's using a lot of resources and then a lot of machines are struggling to play this game. Now all you're going to need to do is just follow every single step that I'm going to show you today and you will be good to go and I can promise you that. And if this video helped you, smash that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the first one I want to go over is this over here. You're going to go to the start button and go to settings, or you can just go to the search button over here and type in settings just like this, and then just press enter. You're going to come to window settings like this, and you're going to come to gaming. You're going to come inside here and go to Xbox game bar. Make sure that this is turned off and this is unchecked over here, and you're going to go to captures. Now, a lot of people do use this capture over here. I don't. I use my graphics card to record and stuff like that, so I don't use this, or I use my SteelSeries mouse to do small captures of gameplay or when I shoot someone or whatever the case might be. But a lot of people might use this as your own personal preference. I don't use this at all, so you could just copy my settings if you don't use this over here. From here, you're going to go to game mode and make sure that your game mode is turned on for the latest update of Tarkov right now. It actually does increase FPS by a slight bit, so I highly recommend you go ahead and turn this on right now. From here, you're going to go to graphic settings and you're going to come inside here. You're going to make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned off. Turn it the fuck off, please. It actually gives you latency issues and problems in the game when this is turned on. So if yours is turned on like this and you turn it off, it's going to say to restart your computer. Don't worry, you're going to restart your computer once you're done watching this video if yours is on, okay? You're just going to turn it off and then you're going to restart your computer once everything has been applied in my video, then you can restart your computer and come back into the game. And then if your game runs better, come back into my video, leave a comment saying that your game actually runs better. If it does, if I helped you out, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new year, because I will be doing more videos of Escape from Tarkov every time they do a wipe and every time there's a new update now something i want to mention is for you to actually add this inside here if you don't have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling please go ahead and add the game inside here yeah, as you can see mine is on high performance now how to do this all you're going to need to do is just click on the browse button over here and then go to where your game is installed mine's installed on this drive over here and then you go to the battle state games and you're going to come inside here and then double click on escape from tarkov and let it be added inside here i already added mine so if i double click it will say that i already added this you're going to come here and then go to options and then don't let windows decide not on power saving, you're going to click on high performance and let it use your dedicated graphics card that you're currently running right now and then say save. You're going to go to the home button from here and then go to privacy and then scroll all the way down to where you see it says background apps. Click on background apps and come inside here. Now this is just something I want to mention is this over here. Escape from Tarkov uses a lot of RAM usage and you don't want other programs running in the background. So I highly recommend that you come inside here where it says background apps and turn this from on to off if you're running Windows 10. You'll see all of these things will run in the background using resources like your RAM and your CPU and your VRAM usage and you don't want to do that so turn this completely off. Now if you're a Windows 11 user you're going to have to individually turn these things off by disabling them. I'm not going to spoon feed you anymore and make this video any longer by showing you how to do that. Just Google how to do that for Windows 11. I'm not a Windows 11 user. Not not right now i'll wait till i'm forced to move over to windows 11 i don't like it okay everyone has their own opinion everyone has their own personal preference all right i'm on windows 10 and this is where i'm going to stay for now until i'm forced to move over to windows 11 anyways just make sure that you have your background apps turned the fuck off you want nothing running in the background the least stuff you have in the running in the background the better your game is going to perform 
All right, let's jump straight into the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so a very important role that I highly recommend you go ahead and do is this over here. You're going to come to the search button over here and type in CMD, and you're going to right-click on this and say run as administrator, and then say yes. You're going to come inside this box over here and type in SFC space forward slash scan now one word and then press enter once you have pressed the enter button it's going to scan through your entire machine and every single drive let's say hard drives solid state drives m.2s whatever the case might be whatever your system has it's going to scan through every single file on your windows machine and see if there's any corrupt files if there is any corrupt files windows will automatically fix it for you and i highly recommend you go ahead and do this maybe like every month or every second month or every third month just remember to do this you can get corrupt files by installing new games and stuff like that your machine will eventually run into corrupt files and you don't want your machine having corrupt files this will fix it for you automatically and at the end of the search it might say that you don't have any corrupt files or at the end of the search it will show you that you have corrupt files that's been fixed once it's been fixed you just close out of this all right let's jump straight into the next step all right ladies and gentlemen so the next step i highly recommend you go ahead and do is and this plays a very big role inside this game is this over here you can right click on your desktop and open up nvidia control panel if you are an nvidia user like me i highly recommend you go ahead and do these things that i'm about to show you right now all right as you can see we are in an nvidia control panel right now and as you can see it says adjust image settings with preview i highly recommend you say use the advanced 3d image settings and click on take me there basically it's just going to take you to manage 3d settings and you're going to come inside here now a lot of people has asked me yo dude why do you don't you go to programs and then add it from Tarkov and then do the settings inside there I don't do that the reason why I don't do that is because these settings that I have in global works for every single other game as well and it benefits me for other games as well if this settings here that I'm about to show you right now benefits you for any other game that you are playing not just escape from Tarkov please leave a comment down below that other games are running better now for you as well with my NVIDIA control panel settings on the global settings everything here that has been changed so just pause my video copy every single thing that I have inside here and please go ahead and copy them as is please go ahead and do this you're going to select your dedicated graphics card prefer maximum performance 100 gigs on the shader cache that can actually help you with stuttering on allow high performance on on off and then this is just virtual reality things you do not need this you're going to apply this from here your screen might flash a couple of times don't worry about that it's just applying the settings for the global settings for your machine from here you're going to go to config around in physics and come inside here now your graphics card is what your physics is handling and stuff like that so i highly recommend that you go ahead and select your dedicated graphics card which is plugged into your pcie slot once this is selected over here, you're just going to say apply and apply your GPU that you're currently running. All right, from here, you're going to go to adjust desktop color settings and you're going to come inside here. And as you can see, I have multiple monitors and this is my main screen that I'm running right now, which I'm running my game on. Highly recommend that you go ahead and leave your brightness at 50%, put your contrast at 65 and have this at its defaults, which is 1.00. You're going to come to digital vibrance and then this is your own personal preference. I'm going to click on image three. Mine is 95 and always been a sweet spot of mine is 95. Now, I'm going to show you the default settings is 50 over here. Now, if you go ahead and pull this all the way to zero, you'll see your screen goes black and white. Now, if you pull it all the way to the default settings, which is 50 over here, like this, 50. This is the default settings that Windows will give you. You'll see that your Windows looks washed out and your screen looks washed out. You don't want that. Now, this will help for every single game you are going to be playing, not just Escape from Tarkov, but it will benefit you in the long run for Escape from Tarkov. Trust me on this. So, bump this up from 50 to either 65 or 75 or 85 or 95. It's your own personal preference. Mine is 95 and this is my sweet spot. And then just go ahead and apply these settings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump straight into the game. Let me show you the best settings you can use right now for the latest update. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the game right now. And this is the game settings itself. So obviously you can see my name and this is just the background, which is woods over here. And then this is just my own personal preference that you can see inside here. This is my own personal preference. You can go ahead and change this as is if you want to, but it's your own personal preference. These two play a very weird role in this game. It's just in general, the automatic RAM cleaner. A lot of people do leave this off. And I do recommend that you do leave it off. Uh, it sometimes fucks with the game and I don't really recommend it. This I do recommend for you to leave on. I have mine on. It actually helps me with my game. And then FOV plays a very, very big role inside this game for FPS. If you have a low-end gaming machine, I would highly recommend that you bump this down to 60 and leave it at 60. If you want more FPS out of your game, I've seen a 
drastic increase in FPS when you drop this down to 60. Now, my game can handle this perfectly fine at 75. My machine can handle it perfectly fine at 75. I don't see that much FPS increase or decrease, but 60 is the sweet spot for most people out there. Now this I'll have, you don't want this, you, you just don't want this, alright? You want this to be at the lowest it can go to. You don't want head bobbing at all, who the fuck wants head bobbing in this game? You don't want to bob around with your head, so whoever's using that option over there and pushing it up to the more intensity is just a fucking retarded. These over here, this is your own personal preference, I highly recommend that you, some people don't select this, some people do. Um... I have mine like this, and this is how I play my game. This is the settings for the game settings, but yet again, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the FOV plays the biggest role, and then this one over here, I recommend you leave it 0 0.2. Do not lift it up. This I have on, this I have on, and this I have on. I have these on for a reason, and it's on for my personal rig. All right, then you just save these settings. Let's get to the graphic settings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the graphic settings right now, and this is my current resolution that I'm running. is 1080p. I have a 4K TV, but I'm obviously not going to play this in 4K resolution. Obviously not. Then I'm going to be doing, what, less than fucking 60 FPS. I'm obviously not going to be doing that. So I highly recommend you go ahead and put this to the resolution of your monitor. So 1080p, 1440p, or 2K. That's your own personal preference. Have it at the resolution of your screen. This I would change to borderless. I would change this to borderless, but playing it full screen actually benefits a lot, but I play my game in borderless mode. The reason why I do this is I can alt-tab out of my game much easier to go onto Google or go onto Discord or whatever the case might be. But I would highly recommend that you put this at borderless and actually helps in general to keep your, your frames very stable, to be honest with you. But if you only have one screen or one monitor, keep it at full screen, all right? Aspect ratio at 16... Point nine. That's obviously a normal thing for everyone else out there. Overall graphics quality, this is going to be changed. Now, over here, there is no visual difference between low and medium. You do not need to put this at low. You really do not need to put this at low. You can go with medium over here with all types of machines. It could be a low-end machine, a high-end machine, a fucking NASA launching fucking Lucan missiles. Please, you can just go to medium. Do not leave it at low. Have it at medium, there's no visual difference, and there's not a lot of impact on FPS between low and medium, so go with medium over here. Please go ahead and use the medium option. Shadows, I would highly recommend that you leave this at low. I highly recommend it. The reason why I'm saying that you should put this at low is because you can actually see your enemies much, much easier when this is on low. You do not want to bump it up either because it actually decreases FPS if you start bumping your shadow quality up. You don't want it to be bumped up, so I highly recommend you leave this at low, and you can actually see your enemies much, much clearer. Object LOD quality, I have mine at 2.5. My machine can handle this perfectly fine. I do not recommend pushing this up, and I don't re really recommend pushing it even higher than 2.5, to be honest with you. It's either 2 or 2.5. 2 if you have a budget gaming machine, and then overall visibility, you can leave at 1,000. If you have a medium to high-end machine, 1,000. If you've got a very budget gaming laptop or a budget gaming machine, just in general, I would put it to 400. You should be good to go. But overall, for everyone out there that's playing this game right now, 1,000 is perfectly fine. Anti-analyzing over here, I put mine at TAA. It's the best for this game, but there's a lot of things that you can change in this game to make your game run even better than what it already is running because a lot of people are running this game like a shit show to be honest with you so you can turn this off over here and then you got resampling so obviously i don't do the downscaling i don't do the sh super sampling i don't use this at all i don't fuck around with this i really don't because it actually fucks with my game and i don't touch it or play around with it at all a lot of people do use the video deal ss if you are using this option then, yeah, it's your own personal preference. There's three options here. NVIDIA DLSS, AMD FSR 1.0, and 2.2. Now, anti-analyzing. When it's off, it can give you different options, obviously. NVIDIA DLSS, if you are using this option, you're going to go with quality. Please do not put this at performance or, or balance and shit like that. Your game's going to look like dog shit, and you don't want that. Don't put it at balance. Leave it at quality if you're using NVIDIA DLSS. I have mine off. I don't use NVIDIA DLSS, so I have these options over here. I I put this on FXAA, and that's the best option over here. A lot of people do use AMD FSR 2.2, and if you are using it, use it at quality. Do not go balance, do not go performance. Your game's going to look like absolute dog shit, and it will look like physical dog shit when you go into the game. This is your own personal preference, but I do recommend quality. 
So it's going to depend on which one you're going to be using. So for me, it's FXAA, and that's how I run it. One times off, and then NVIDIA DLSS off. All right. The HBAQ, I have mine at max performance. The reason why I have this at max performance, it actually makes my game run much smoother and much better. You could put it at high, ultra, but I would highly recommend you put this at max performance. SSR, I highly recommend that you put this at low, or you could put this at off. This is just reflections. Um, just in general, there's a lot of reflections in the game. So I do sometimes play the, the set with a round of the setting. So I put it at high because it's reflections in the game and stuff like that. It does benefit you a lot in the game. But if you're running a low end machine, you really do not need to have it at high. You can have it at medium or you can have it at low or you can have it completely off. If you've got a budget gaming machine, completely turn this off and you should be good to go. I can tell you that right now, have this off. All right, just leave it completely off. Anisotropic filtering is something that I have off, but a lot of people do prefer per texture. So you can actually use per texture. It actually does help with the game in general, but a lot of people out there prefer this to be off just in general as well. They have this off and they either use per texture or they would use off. I do not recommend on with anisotropic filtering. Don't use this option for on. Please don't put this on. Use it on off or per texture. One of these two are going to benefit you, and one of them are going to be correct. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, right now with a new update and the new clean sweep of the game, I would recommend you put this off, because it's actually fucking broken right now. So, I used to run it before the update, I used to run it in on plus boost, I run it now at off. With NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, I run this at off, and I highly recommend you go ahead and do the same thing as me over here, and go ahead and put it off as well. Because it actually decreases FPS if you put it on on or on on plus boost. Sharpness is your own personal preference. Lobby FPS limit is your own personal preference. And then game FPS limit is your own personal preference. I'm just going to put mine at 144. And then ladies and gentlemen, this is something that plays a very big role as well. Is these three options over here. I have them on as you can see here. The high quality color. And then this one over here as well. And then this one over here as well. Now, a lot of people do put this off and they prefer it off. I prefer mine on. This is just my own personal preference. Yet again, it's going to be your own personal preference on how you're going to run this game and if you're going to have these three settings on. I have mine on. If you'd want it on, you can leave it on. If not, you can put them on like this and have them on like mine. Copy my settings as is. If not, and you don't like it, go ahead and turn them off and you should be good to go. And then from here, you're just going to save these settings and then we're going to go to post effects and let's go inside here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so post effects is just something that you can go ahead and enable. So it's the quality and how the game looks in general, the visual of how the game looks. OK, so you're going to enable this if you want to. You don't have to enable it. But for me, I enable it. It's my own personal preference. Now, obviously, you do not want the brightness to be at 100 percent because in the daytime, it's too bright. So turn it a bit down. You can hit about 60. 60 is OK in the daytime. I've tested this myself with my screen and this runs perfectly fine. Saturation, I have mine at 40%. I don't really recommend upscaling this any higher with the specific settings over here. Clarity at 100%, this at zero, then zero, and then zero, all right? And then this I have like this, and then I have the intensity at 17. So you can go ahead and copy this exact settings as is if you want my specific settings on how the game looks. This actually makes the game look really, really good. I'm not going to lie, you can go ahead and copy my post effects as they are right here, right now. The game looks fantastic like this. And then all you're going to need to do is just save. Sound settings is literally your own personal preference. This is literally your own personal preference. I can't tell you what to do here much, but it's your own personal preference of what you're going to need to do here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so controls is something I just want to point out. I can't tell you what to do inside here. Every single Tarkov player has their own personal preference on how they run this over here. They have their own personal preference. Every single person out there that's playing Tarkov right now might use all their keys on their keyboard. Some people might use MOBO fucking mouses where it has like 21 keys on it or 12 keys or whatever the case might be. So the controls is something I can't tell you to copy. But the rest of my graphic settings and my post effects and sound and game settings, go ahead and copy my settings and you should be good to go with FPS. I can promise you that right now with the latest update. Your game should run perfectly fine. Ladies and gentlemen, if this works for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new here. I'm just here to help the Tarkov community as best I can. I will be uploading new videos if they do a new server wipe and a new update. I will be uploading a new video. I can promise you that. 
As always, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel for your new year, and as always, peace out.